Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out some freeze-dried food from Alpine Air. This is their spicy chicken curry. Alright, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to take a look at this. Um, this isn't a new company, but this is new to me. This is by Alpine Air. These are their spicy curry chicken entrees, and being that I love curry and stuff like that, can't beat it. So I'm going to try it out. We're going to see how we like it. I have seen very few reviews of these online, the Alpine Air, actually. The only one I remember seeing earlier was uh, uh, the Outdoor Gear Review. Luke did one with his wife, and they weren't too impressed with theirs because there wasn't much chicken in it. So we're going to check this out. We're going to see how we like it. I'm going to give you a little look at it, a little look at the nutritional information. There are two servings in here. It's a total of 600 calories. If you eat the whole bag, it's 300 calories per serving. Considerably less sodium than most uh, of these freeze-dried entrees. This has a 370 milligrams per um, serving. So if you're concerned about sodium, these are a little bit lower in sodium. I'm going to zoom that in for you. And if you want, hopefully that shows up and you can see it. It looks like it's showing up okay. So if you want to freeze the video, you can go back and freeze the video. These are pretty simple to make. Uh, just two cups of water, boiling, set them in there, let them sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and eat. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick on our stove and get water going, and uh, we'll see how we like it. All right, got the stove going. I got my two cups of water, and of course I had to use my new stove and cook set for this. And on an unrelated note, you'll notice the key is no longer with my... Uh, stove there. This is just a side tip for those of you with the Savea stoves. If you're not really worried about losing it too much, what I did was I just tied some paracord to the key and I put some red nail polish up there so if I drop it in the woods, it's bright red, it's not a natural color, it will stand out. Um, I really got tired of feeding it in and out of there. So it just became a pain in the neck. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring you back once this is boiled and we're going to pour it in and let it sit and see how we like it. Alright, we got a nice boil going on here. I'm going to turn the stove off. There we go. Nice boil. Let's open this up. And I'll tell you folks, this combination, I've been messing around with this. The Savea 1, 2, 3 and this heat exchange pot from Optimus. Wow, I'll tell you, it's quick. <laughs> it just boils water so quickly. All right. Get rid of your oxygen absorber. Let's get that key out of there so I don't burn myself later. And I'm going to move the stove away over that way. And we'll just pour this in. Now you'll notice this guy has a little pour spout here. Let's see how well that works. Definitely helps. Pours right in there nicely. Let's move that stuff down. Um, one of the things I do like about their packaging is it has a nice gusseted bottom here. I didn't even need to set that up. You saw me. I opened it, put it down, and boom, it just sat there. So that's kind of handy. Now I'm going to mix this up good. I want to get into the corners. Um, the corners on this are sealed at an angle, so you don't tend to get too much bunching up down there. But it's still a good idea to get in the corners and give it a good stir. Well, I'll tell you something. It tastes pretty good, just as is. All right, we're going to seal it up. Oh yeah, that's good curry. We'll see how we like it once we get done with it. We're going to seal it up, we're going to let it sit, and I'll bring you back when it's all It's not done. anywhere near done yet, but one of the things I wanted to bring you back and tell you about, one of the things I like about this heat exchanger pot is, I mean, it's been, I don't know, three, four minutes since I took it off the fire, and I'm able to hold that. Yeah, it's warm, but it's not burning. So it seems that this not only helps it heat up quickly, but it helps it cool down quickly, too. But that's just a plug for the little Optimus pot. <laughs> all right, it's been about 12 minutes. Seems to be uh, cooking along in there. It's probably done. Uh, I did notice that this does pop up a little bit, so you got to kind of burp it once in a while. Anyway, it smells incredible. Oh, God, yes. I am definitely a lover of Indian food and curries and stuff like that. So, I see lots of beans. I do see chicken. I'm going to give you a look and see, give you a look and tell you what it looks like. Show you what it looks like, I mean. For now... Oh yeah, that's great. There you go. So you got some beans in there, some red peppers. Small, it's small pieces of chicken. In defense to uh, 
the review that the Outdoor Gear Review did, yeah, this they do have smaller pieces of chicken in there. However, they taste great. So let's get a, a bite of this and see what we like. See if we like it. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's good. Again, you're missing those huge chunks of chicken, but they're in there. They're just smaller ones. It's very good. Um, very spicy. So if you're not a person that likes stuff spicy, you probably won't like it. For me, see, I've learned how to gauge spicy because I like stuff scorching hot. So for me, when something has a little bit of spice to it, I'm like, it's very spicy. You may not like it, <laughs> even though I like it way hotter than that. So that is the Alpine Air freeze-dried spicy chicken curry. If you're looking for something to break up the monotony, you know, if you're out ha hiking or if you're looking for something a little bit different in your uh, get-home bags or bug-out bags, these really can't be beat. Um, I've seen them anywhere from 6 to $8, depending on the entree. Uh, I will put a link down below for you to pick this one up. Um, you can follow the link and buy as many of them as you like. Alpine Air has um, a bunch of different, a little bit better flavored freeze-dried food. Um, you know, just, I don't want to say gourmet, but you get the idea. A little bit different. That is really, really good. Anyway, I will put the link down below where you can pick it up. And I want to thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to check out our Amazon store, like always. Anything you buy on there, once you click that link, helps out the channel. You don't have to buy something in the store. It doesn't cost you any money at all to do it. Just click on the link and shop. Um, don't forget about our Thrive Life link down below. Just click See More, and you'll see our Thrive, links, our Thrive Life store. Uh, we got lots of stuff coming up in there. Um, lots of great freeze-dried food. I do have a video coming up on some new stuff that I picked up, so... Uh, Watch for that coming soon. And don't forget, too, if you uh, want to get notified when these when these videos come up on my channel, just click that little bell on the bottom down there, and it will notify you every time a video is posted. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.